Okay, well now we're going to talk about temperature and temperature is something that we will use pretty often throughout the year in different scenarios. So we want to talk about the different units for temperature that we use and in what situations we use them. Alright, so basically if I said what what's the temperature outside, you would give me a reading something like 70 degrees and we would all assume that you're talking about Fahrenheit. Well, in chemistry and pretty much any science that we use, we don't use the units Fahrenheit. In fact, we won't use Fahrenheit probably ever throughout the whole year. What we will use is, let me get my pen here, what we will use is Celsius and Kelvin. So let's just go through what these two units of temperature mean and how we calculate those. First of all, Celsius is based on the freezing point and boiling point of water. So basically what somebody did at one time was get water, freeze it. So you have ice, put a thermometer in it. When that thermometer mercury stops moving, put a notch on the thermometer. Put the water on a heater, heat up the water until it starts boiling. The thermometer rises up the uh, I'm sorry, the mercury rises up the thermometer, stops moving, and at that point we call that 100, and at that point we call it zero. Put dashes in between and we have a Celsius thermometer. So there's a, so, uh, yeah, so there's a 100 degrees difference between the freezing point of water and the boiling point of water. Kelvin, on the other hand, is based on the idea of absolute zero. At absolute zero, we say there is no molecular movement. What we'll talk about in another unit is atoms are always moving. In a solid, those atoms are just vibrating back and forth. In a liquid, they're kind of flowing around, and in a gas, they're flying all over the place. So when you cool something down, the molecules get slower and slower and slower and slower, but they never actually stop moving. If they were to stop moving, we would call that temperature zero Kelvin, okay? So when you have no molecular movement, we call that zero. And it's not degree Kelvin, we just say Kelvin. All right, so if we look at a typical thermometer, we can get an idea of where these temperatures are. So just to give you an idea, we have a Fahrenheit thermometer, a Celsius thermometer, and a Kelvin thermometer. Well, let's focus on the Celsius and Kelvin. Um, we know that water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which we just said is zero degrees Celsius, and that would correspond to 273.15 Kelvins. 100 degrees Celsius is where water boils, and that's 212 Fahrenheit. That's 373.15 Kelvins. So hopefully you can see the correlation between Kelvin and Celsius. There's a hundred degree difference from the freezing point and boiling point of water. There's a hundred degree difference with the Celsius scale also. So if you're going to calculate, if you're going to go and convert from Celsius to Kelvin, all you have to do is add 273.15 to your Celsius temperature and you get your Kelvin temperature. So for example 37 degrees Celsius would be 310.2 Kelvins. We're not going to worry about the Fahrenheit conversion but there it is if you are interested in checking it out. So let's just do a couple of quick conversions using that relationship. So if you're trying to calculate degrees Celsius, you simply take your Kelvin temperature and subtract 273. And if you're trying to calculate Kelvin, you take your degree Celsius and add 273. So for example, let's say it's room temperature, which is roughly 25 degrees Celsius. And I said, well, what's that temperature in Kelvins? You would add 273 to your Celsius temperature and you would get 298 Kelvin. So to calculate Kelvin, take your Celsius temperature, add 273. 
let's say we had a temperature of 358 kelvins, and I said, how many degrees Celsius is that? Well, to calculate degrees Celsius, we take our Kelvin temperature, and we subtract 273, and that gives us 85 degrees Celsius. So take your Kelvin temperature, subtract 273. And that really all there is to it, that is all there is to it with the temperature readings. We've got Celsius and Kelvin. Celsius is based on the freezing point of water. Whoops. Kelvin is based on absolute zero. When you're trying to calculate between the two, if you're trying to calculate degrees Celsius, you take your Kelvin temperature, subtract 273, and if you're trying to calculate Kelvin, you take your degrees Celsius and add 273. So you want to remember that relationship as you're doing these calculations.